Hey everybody, it's Ripley again, throwing down with a little bit of uh, graph theory around sinusoidal functions. All right, remember, we've got all our mother graphs. So what we're going to talk about today are just sinusoidal functions, which means they're either the, the mother graphs or the parent graphs come from either sine of x or they come from cosine of x. Okay, which, which makes it really useful. And we know what the parent graphs look like, right? We know that sine does this, and we know that cosine, that's bad to draw, but that's all right. Oops, sorry, guys. Now this vertical line is just going to be the bane of me, right? And we know that cosine does this, like that. Now, remember, you can draw these cruddy little sketches. It's not that big of a deal, all right? As long as you can visualize it, then we'll be okay. But the problem is, what happens if I want you to sketch a graph of, say, f of x equals negative 3 sine of uh, 2x minus pi halves plus 3? Well, we're going to deal with this, and we're going to deal with, with things one thing at a time. But before we get too crazy, let's just remember a little bit of graph theory here. Okay? So if I have some function f of x... All right, and who really cares what it looks like? But we'll just make it, I don't know, let's make it interesting. Let's just make it look, let's make it look like that. Okay, this is going to be f of x. What do we know that, let me change colors. I have colors for this. This is perfect. What do I know that say, um, what does f of x, f of x plus 3 do? Well, it takes all of these points and it shifts them up. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Again, you should have remembered this from your, from your, let's see, one, two, three, and one, two, three. That you should remember this from your, your algebra two, right? This is how we mess around with these guys. So this guy gets shifted up three. If it were f of x minus three, this would be down three, right? Now, how about this guy? What if I did f of, let's do f of x um, plus one. Well, hopefully, again, you remember that what happens is, is everything gets shifted to the left. This guy gets shifted left, left one. And the reason that is, is because of the domain of f. I mean, the domain of this guy initially appears to be from here, to here, so if we're gonna, in other words, f only makes can only make sense of values from a. Let's call this from a to b, right? So if I go in and I add one to everything, then that takes the the candidates, the feasible candidates for x, and it actually moves them left once. One. So what we end up with, if this is going to be a bad sketch, so bear with me, is we're going to end up with something that does this, and then does that. Okay, nothing to it. Well, what if I had an f of x? Minus 2. Well, this moves my function right to. Okay? Now, again, students often get freaked out. They're like, this is counterintuitive. Why does this thing move right to when it's x minus 2 and left to when it's x plus 2? Again, it has to do with the domain of f. And think about what values of f, or excuse me, of x, need to go in to get similar values from the original mother graph. All right? So that's a fun one. We'll talk about that quite a bit more. Okay, let me change colors one more time. How about, let's go orange. How about what does, what does, let's say, um, 4 f of x look like? Well, it does a vertical stretch, doesn't it? So instead, oh, you know what? I can't do 4 f of x because I didn't make my scale big enough. Let's do 2 f of x. Again, all review. All right, what does 2 f of x do? It takes this value and it puts it up twice as high, this value twice as high, this value twice as low, right? I'm guessing as to where this thing needs to be, and it looks like this. Now, what is that called? That is, I'm going to use the implied double, the equals imply, that implies a vertical stretch, vertical stretch by a factor of two, all right? If this were one half, f of x, this would imply a vertical shrink, right? So if the number is less than 1, again, just review. I'm going to keep saying that over and over and over again, right? Now, how about this guy? How about this? 
Uh, let me change the color of my pen one more time. Let's go with this guy right here. Oh, wait, let me, let me, I'm going to draw the function again, but I'm going to make it a little simpler to play with if you guys don't mind. I'm going to make it like, let's do this, and I'll go through here, and then we'll do this. Okay, just nice and simple. I don't know why some of my lines are so darn good and some are so crappy. <laughs> These are all supposed to be straight lines. Okay, so this is f of x. Now, here's my question. What does f of 2x look like? Now, remember, this is not equal to 2f of x. What does f of 2x do? Well, hopefully, again, you remember that what it does is it takes this, these values and it, it moves them in on both sides. It's called a horizontal compression by a factor of 2. So this point would end up here. This point would end up somewhere around here. This point would end up somewhere around here. This point would end up here. And I'd end up with this guy right here. So this is this is a, is a horizontal horizontal compression comp, comp by a factor of 2. Okay, now this is where it gets, I'm actually going to do this guy. Let's change one more purple. Oh, lovely shade. How about f of 1 third x? Well, what does that do? Well, now it takes this point, this turns into a horizontal 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 stretch by a factor by a factor of three it stretches it it's three times as wide because I have to put a number to get to this point right here okay let's say that this is x equals one two three four five six that works out perfectly so in the initial function x equals six gave me that value right Remember, f only works between, what, negative 6 and 6. So for me to get all the way out to x equals 6, I have to plug in x equals 18 to get f of 6 to get that point. So it takes this value and it stretches way out here. So we end up, I can't get to 18, but bear with me. All right, so these are all going to move out. Where are we? 2, 4, 6. So this is going to move. This, these guys go through here and then way out here to 18, and then way back here to negative 18. Again, this is Algebra 2. Hopefully you got this in Algebra 2. If you didn't, you can always come ask me, and I can explain it even better to you. All right, so we know how to take any mother graph and play with it. Well, let's play with our sign. 